Welcome to Wood Gas Science, where I attempt to learn the science behind wood gas stoves. This is Secondary Airport Experiment, Part 5.3. In this experiment, I use the optimized primary airport layout that we arrived at in previous videos, and I increase the diameter of the 16 secondary airports from 1 8 to 3 16. To keep the fuel parameters the same, I use one measured cup of wood pellet and then one tablespoon of wood pellet soaked in heat in the yellow bottle. At three minutes, I had good gasification starting, and at five minutes, I had all sec 16 secondary ports with good flames. This burn is looking better than the last test. By 10 minutes, I had very strong jets of flames coming out of all 16 ports. And as you can see here, the port, the flames are actually meeting in the middle. Very strong burn. At 15 minutes, all 16 secondary ports continued to have strong jets of flame. This is a very consistent burn. And as you can see from this view, uh, it's a strong flame and the jets are beautiful. Uh, just let the video speak for itself. Here I am just rotating the stove around by hand so you can see the consistency of all of the jets. The strong burn continued well through the 20 minute mark. Um, and I thoroughly enjoyed watching this stove burn. Um, the flames were about perfect. At 23 to 24 minutes into the burn, you could tell the flame was starting to get weak. And by 28 minutes, it was really dying down. In summary, the total burn time of this test was just a little bit more than 29 minutes. The fuel consumption was a little over half of a cup. The jet appearance was very strong with some distinct blue flame. In conclusion, I've decided that at this point, the results will need to be quantified by boil test and temperature measurements. So please join me for future videos when I do this. Uh, and this has been Wood Gas Stove Science. Uh, secondary Airport Experiment Part 5.3. Thank you.